I'll take the flux. This is super alloy one flux. I have an old bottle here, so I'm going to use this first. And then there's two different size uh, filler filler rods. Okay, now I'm going to dip it in the flux. And I'm going to paint it around here. Right, right in the collar. And use, use this liberally. I want it to go down into that into that groove between the two tubes and then I'm going to go up and down all the way around some more I want to get this covered above it and below it but the bead is going to go right around the collar there Okay. Now, take our heat gun. This one is between 572 Fahrenheit and 932 Fahrenheit. Okay, but I'm going to put it on the hottest setting because I want to get it hotter quicker. I mean, I'm going to heat it from below the joint because I want to suck the, the solder down, it, the metal floor into the joint. I don't want to heat the top tube. I want it to follow the heat, so I want it to pull down into the joint so that it seals down in the joint as well as on the collar. This stuff will turn kind of a, a light. It'll turn kind of a, a yellowish. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. As you can see, I'm heating right below the joint. see the tip of it then, right below the joint, because I want to suck this filler metal down into the joint. Just kind of, like, once it starts to turn into honey brown, honey brown, it'll start to flow. What I like to do is I like to go down, the motion down. So I'm kind of almost like forcing it into the, into the collar. And I don't want to put on too much. I just want to fill that collar and have it suck down in. You can see that right there. Use some more flux. The flux helps it, it seal and bond, and it's also a cleaner. That's it. I usually let it stay on there a little bit longer and then pull it off. That took about maybe two minutes. That's it. Now, the important thing also is to let it naturally cool. But one of the really important parts is keep putting flux on it because it helps it bond and it helps it seal and cure.